On January 1, 2023, Trooper Shane Caviness was sitting stationary on Interstate 530 southbound at the 24-mile marker on ramp. I observed an orange Dodge Challenger pass my location in the left travel lane with the next vehicle a short distance behind. I continued to observe the vehicle as it remained in the left lane with no other vehicles around. I merged onto Interstate 530 and began to catch up to the vehicle. While catching up to the vehicle I lost sight of vehicle for short time, regaining sight near the 27-mile marker with the vehicle in the right lane. Trooper S. Caviness caught up to the vehicle, conducting a status check of the license plate LPN hashtag FFBMCM being displayed. I received a return to a 2020 orange Dodge Challenger matching the description of the vehicle in front of me with no confirmed insurance through the Arkansas Online Insurance Verification System. The vehicle also had an e-site history of Kevin White operating the vehicle with a suspended driver's license from previous traffic stop of same vehicle. With the suspicion that the operator had no valid insurance at the time, I merged behind the vehicle and initiated my emergency lights to conduct a traffic stop. The operator of the vehicle tapped the brakes of the vehicle slowing slightly. The vehicle continued south a short distance before the operator began to aggressively accelerate. I initiated my siren and initiated a pursuit with the vehicle. I accelerated to 131 miles per hour attempting to catch up to the vehicle, but the operator was able to accelerate well beyond and creating a gap of distance between us. He was gone in 60 seconds or less. The vehicle continued accelerating as we passed the 30-mile marker and began to approach other southbound traffic. The operator swerved into the right lane and then back into the left lane around a vehicle and continued to flee south. I continued to pursue the vehicle maintaining visual contact with him as we traveled south. As we approached the 39-mile marker the vehicle had gained a substantial distance from me making it difficult to maintain visual observation. I continued south attempting to regain sight of the vehicle near the 42-mile marker but was unable to. Due to me no longer being able to see the vehicle I cancelled my involvement in the pursuit. I knew I had no business attempting such a fight way back at mile marker 26. Defeat is something you take home to your family and think about all night. That car was way too fast and way too furious. I gave everything I had, I did my very best. Sorry captain.